少，因人寻，卡埃拉人，阿萨卡哈拉人，扎卡拉人，少爱因人寻。Namaste. So the time has come, the walrus said, to speak of many things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings. Do you know this poem by Lewis Carroll? The basic storyline of this poem. Is that a walrus and a carpenter go for a walk down a beach, and they convince a bunch of clams to come along with them, and they walk down to the end of the beach and basically have have lunch <laughs> of the clams. See, in other words, they deceive the clams. Of walking along with them, so that they could eventually just eat them. So, what started this train of thought was that、uh, yesterday somebody left a comment on our series about the Mahashodashi mantra here, and. He was asking for all these details of who is my guru and what lineage is it and why don't we follow the this procedure and that procedure and this ritual and the other ritual and that initiation and so many you know and I'm like dude <laughs> we don't follow the male hierarchy system. We follow the mother, okay, and her style of organization is flat. Huh? There's you, and there's the mother. <laughs> Now I'd be able to、uh, inform you of some things, maybe that you don't know, or connect you with some sources of information that could benefit you. Or maybe I can help you analyze your situation, and certainly I can help you with our our courses. We have many courses that will expose you to different points of view, very high points of view, on different philosophies. But then it's up to you to select the ones that are going to benefit you. You see, we don't we don't meddle in that. We don't want any authority. We don't want to be a guru. We don't want to even really be a teacher. We just want to expose you to information that possibly could help you, and connect you with sources of this information directly. Then it's up to you. We trust you. To know what's good for you. That's complete opposite of the male hierarchical system, which has been in effect on this planet for so long that I think most everybody has forgotten that there's another way to do it. <laughs> And what that is is somebody establishes a monopoly on truth. And then they pass that monopoly down to their successors, and as it comes down and down and passed down from generation to generation, it acquires more and more complexity and conditions and narrow paths and all this like cruft. But we don't go for that. Because our experience is that everybody has Brahman within, or I should say, even everybody is Brahman within, and the only differences are external.
apparent, not real. Like a mirage in the desert. You know, if you go out in the middle of the desert in a hot day and you look off in the distance, you may see what looks like a lake. It looks different from the sand. Uh, it looks like water, it reflects light and so on. Well, of course, it's not really a lake. It just appears that way. It's a mirage. So somebody might say, well, is that real? Is that difference, apparently not sand, but water, real? Well, I would say, yeah, it's real. It's a real mirage. <laughs> so everyone has this real mirage called individuality. And each individual is different. See, this is the artistic creativity of the mother. Lalita, Tripura Sundari that she makes every being a unique individual, no two the same, not even close, even, uh, what is it called, twins, Ident so-called identical twins aren't identical. Uh -huh. They're subtly different and so on and so on. Every being is unique and individual. Therefore, it follows that every being's path from their unique individuality back to their source is going to be unique and individual too. This is why there is no one true path. There is no one highest path truth or initiation or mantra or whatever it is, you know. That's just sales talk. That's typical hierarchical bullshit. To sell you on signing up for the, the hierarchy as an authority. They tell you this is the highest, this is the best, this is the most powerful, blah, 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 blah. Look, I know. I used to be a salesman for the Hare Krishnas. <laughs> I used, seriously used to tour around and do kirtans and stuff like this. And of course, every kirtan would get everybody all fired up and ecstatic. And then it would be followed by a sales talk. Whether I did the sales talk or somebody else, that was the pattern. That's how hierarchy works. Let's get you all fired up and juiced up and dancing and wow, whatever. And then comes the sales talk. Join our hierarchy. You will be at the bottom. <laughs> you will be a slave. <laughs> but you can work your way up and become a boss. Ah. <laughs> that's what it's all about. And that's all it's about. Because to claim that you have the way, the path. Huh? This is the lineage with the absolute truth. It just can't be true. It can't be true. There's no way it could be true. What is true is that mother has made everybody different. So everybody needs a different medicine. Everybody needs a different sequence of processes to bring them to their full self-realization. It's just common sense, you know? But because the people who are greedy for power want to cling to that power and want to grow that power as much as possible, they create this myth that only the approved processes given in a ceremony by the authority of the hierarchy is good, or real, or true. See, and everything else is wrong. Well, no, it's not wrong, it's just different. See, so because of Aristotelian, uh, Aristotelian two-valued binary logic, now we have a world 
which is full of extremes. Huh? You go fill up any form for any government agency, you have to check either male or female. <laughs> Nothing in between. Huh? But those who have studied sexology know that everybody is a mix of male and female properties and characteristics and tastes. Nobody is pure male or pure female. So what is the real thing, you know? What is the reality in life? Is that you have to find your own way. We can offer you a menu. We can say, okay, you know, like on our course site, you take the introductory courses, everybody takes those because we have a, a certain language that we use for all of our teachings. And we established this language a long time back in the early video series, which almost nobody has watched. <laughs> so to really get the full value from any of our video series, you have to know that language, you have to know that terminology. You have to know the methodology that we use to analyze everything. But then once you have that, see, we have all these like 70 different series on widely various topics. And it's pretty much up to you. You know, you, you have a conversation with your mentor and you come to a consensus about what you feel your next step should be. And then he signs you up for that course and takes you through it, and that's how it works. Not that there's only one rigid way, huh? That's horrible, that's violent. But male hierarchies are very good at violence. Just look at all the wars in the world today and in history, led by men. And not just, ordinary, not just men, but men who were convinced that they were the inheritors of a hierarchy and that they had the, the right to pass that hierarchy down to others and to enforce it on anybody that they could get. This is just so wrong. I don't even know where to start. The reality of the thing is that all of this hierarchy stuff is just a fabrication. It's just a story that somebody made up. So if, if it's a made-up story, what kind of power can it have? I mean, it can have as much power as you give it, I suppose. So if you go and, and start imagining along the same lines, then all right, you know, it'll have power over you. But it doesn't have power over me. It certainly doesn't have power over Lalita, the Universal Mother. She looks at this and laughs. Huh? She laughs and laughs and said, look, the stupid people fell for my Maya. <laughs> well, they chose it. They chose to become like that. And they have a lot invested in that system. And it's not going to fall without a big struggle, but it is gonna fall. Because nothing imaginary can stand. Uh, nothing that's fabricated can exist forever. Whatever has a beginning also has an end. So all of these phony hierarchies and lineages and sampradayas and paramparas and <laughs> traditions and all of this stuff huh, that narrows the point of view and gives people only a certain type of experience, all this is going to fail. Because people don't, most people don't need that particular experience. They need something else. So we have the exact opposite approach. We say, open the doors, take the widest point of view possible, the biggest context that you can, and then from that, analyze and make your choice as to what is your next step. What do you need the most? And we'll support you in that. We'll help you do the analysis. You know? 
This is the difference between the uh, masculine path and the feminine path. We follow the path of the mother. And she, she doesn't believe in all these ceremonies and all these uh, official formal whatevers. You know, she says, go in your room, shut the door and worship me. See, that's the difference is between you and her, between the creator and the created. No intermediaries, no salesmen, no king. Aung Tat Sat. Aung Shakti Aung.